That's right, Andre. Since the trash wheel began running in 2014, city officials say it has picked up more than 12 million cigarette butts, and all that cleanup costs a lot of money. Litter is something folks in Baltimore say they see every day. Terrible. Very terrible. I mean, the, the, sometimes the trash ain't picked up, the cigarette butts ain't picked up. I see cigarette butts, um, peop, something people throw away, um, like um, empty cups, cans, bottles. Now Baltimore City wants to hold tobacco companies responsible for the cleanup of millions of cigarette butts, which are not biodegradable. There are all kinds of cleanup problems, um, from catching them to getting rid of the chemicals they leave in their wake. Jim Shea, the city solicitor, says the lawsuit is seeking as much as $5 million annually for the cleanup. It alleges the tobacco companies have refused to put warnings about how to properly dispose of the filters on their boxes for fear of reduced sales and also could make the filters biodegradable but have chosen not to. They didn't change it according to documents we've seen. Uh, to uh, biodegradable uh, filters because uh, smokers preferred the draw that comes with uh, the filter. Baltimore residents we spoke to say tobacco companies should help foot the bill for helping to clean up the city. They can do their part. They are making money because of the products they sell and the products are Bitter here. Ultimately, Shea says they'd like the companies to change their practices to become more environmentally friendly, and they say the lawsuit is one way to do that. We'd like to have uh, the practice stop, but uh, in the meantime, we, we want uh, damages in the nature of uh, cleanup costs and their fines associated with the various ordinances, litter ordinances that are being violated. We did reach out to several of the companies named in the lawsuit, but have not gotten any responses. Meanwhile, Shea says the companies have 30 days to respond to the lawsuit. Reporting live at City Hall, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.